crafty friends good evening this is the gift diva welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing well you had a great labor day weekend and you're ready for the new weekend that is coming upon us um want to take a moment to say welcome to all of my new subscribers y'all i am at 1652 the last time i did a video i was at 1600 so i don't know what's happening but i thank you <laughs> I thank you. I am grateful for you. I'm excited that you want to be excited to be here. And hopefully, uh, as we chug along through craft fair holiday season, you will be inspired and delighted and all those things. So thank you so much to my new subscribers. And if you're already subscribed, you know how much I love you. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up, and commenting. I try to get to my comments. But y'all, yeah, sometimes life be life and, and so I don't always get to them right away, but please know that I do read them uh, and I do acknowledge them with little heart. So having said all of that, we are coming up on another Craft Fair series entry. I'm also going to drop this into Two Crafters, One Design, which is hosted by Girl Your's Cards, uh, UCY I'm a Diva, and oh my gosh, who's the third person? My mind just went bank with, with Gail Banks Creates, right? I think. Look, it will all be in the description box below. It's been a crazy week. Um, and I'm dumping it in because I did use some rubber stamps, which was the theme last week. Better late than never, right? So I saw this for I first saw this concept as the title of the video tells you we are doing blind date with a book, which I thought was so cute and so fun. And I'm going to try it at this craft fair. I only did a dozen. Um, I got my books from the Dollar Tree. I went in with my phone, uh, got on Goodreads, read read the brief descriptions, got ratings, um, all the good things. So I got books that are universally, universally, universally um, interesting to people, I guess. I try not to get controversial things or any of that. So I stuck to fun things I like to read. Romance, mystery, thriller. Those are my genres. Chiclet. So um, let me show you a little something about this project. <laughs> so I, I first saw this on Love Basket Express. She's a gift basket designer. And I follow her because, as you all may or may not know, if you're new to this channel, I used to own a gift basket business uh, up until... 2021, 22, during the pandemic, I, cut, I shut it down and never reopened. And um, I just like following her because she's so, she has all the energy I had when I started mine in my 30s. <laughs> I have none of that energy now. <laughs> I do stuff strictly for fun now. Um, but she has, she always has some really cute and clever ideas. So this particular idea, this is where I first saw it. Then I went on Pinterest to see if I could follow up and fo saw some more things. And then I saw Lyric Lover Crafts do, um, do a video about her craft fair. And she's doing this in her craft fair. I will leave those two videos in the description box below if I remember. So you can go check those out. And so I said, okay, Lynn, let's try this. Now, here's the crux. <laughs> the, or the cute little origami fold that... Um, Lyric Lover Crafts did. I wasted so much paper trying to get that right. Um, it was not, it did not come out looking like hers. I abandoned it immediately and pulled out dies. So just so you know, if these are not going to look like hers at all. Um, I, I found some red um, craft paper um, on Amazon and I wrapped some of them in red and then some of them in some regular brown craft paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, I used some pocket dies in my stash. I'll show you those. And I just used the stamps and stickers and made it, made, and my, you know, I pulled out, of course, my rub-ons and made it fun. So let me show you what I made, used. I used this set of rub-ons here. Uh, these are actually not rub-ons. Well, they are. They're uh, UV GTF stickers. I used this stamp set that I picked up from Amazon. It's, uh, from some company called Infully. I've never been funly. I've never heard of them, but it was all book stamps. The book was always better. Happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book. Between the pages of a book is my lovely place to be. Reading is my therapy. Yes, the book belongs to. Books are my love language. Yes, I read past my bedtime always. I always carry a book with me and to the book is always better and it really is. And then I found these cute little stamps also on Amazon. 
um, let me make sure I was in frame so you can see those. And I will try to leave these linked below also, um, if I remember, because y'all know sometimes I forget. Um, and these are little tickets. Um, and they just say, read all night book club, cozy girl, although cozy spelled C-O-S-Y. I didn't use that one. Sports romance book club, spicy book club, smutty, <laughs> smutty romance, proud member of the smutty romance book club, which I thought was hilarious. Um, so I used a bunch of these on my projects. And then I pulled out some wood, wood mount stamps for the um, two crafters, one design. And I got this years ago at Michael's. I did not pay a dollar for it. Um, it's uh, Merry Christmas. It's a beautiful stamp. It's by Recollections. Oh, here's one of these little stamps. Let me put this back right now. Sorry, y'all, because if I don't put it back right now, it will be lost in here forever. Because things get swallowed up in the craft room by the invisible craft supply monster. And I can never find it. It took it took me so long to do these because it took me two days to find my bin of paper clips. It's it's a crazy thing. So this one and then this one is also this is a 2013 stamp by Inka Dikadu. I use I think I used that on one book. I did not pay $9.99 for that. This is created Creativity is Contagious, Pass It On by Albert Einstein. And that's a 2013 stamp also by Graphic 45. I use that. And I use this one. I think I got this in a state sale. Uh, this is by a company called Rubber Stamped from 2003. Um, and that's Santa, the really nice Santa stamp. Although I stamped it in black and he didn't really come out right. So I don't know. Then I used also this pocket die. I got this off Amazon. Also, it's a, I forget the name of the company. And then I used another pocket die from the same company, which I can't find at the moment. I think it's in this pile of stuff somewhere. But I used these two dies. You will see. And then I used some Anna Griffin rub-ons, of course. The Christmas Infirma rub-ons. And the Christmas Greenery. This one's, this one's from last year, I think. This set. But this is recent. Um, and so... I used, those are all the things I used in my book. Plus, I used some charms for my stash. So, you will see. Let me get this out of the way. In the end, like, these were bare. Like, because, I don't know about you guys, but if you have a lot of paper, it takes me forever to decide the paper I'm going to use because I have so much. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> so, it took forever to decide how to decorate these. So, here's the first one. In the craft paper. Oh, I also used these essential stencil, these big um, rub-ons I picked up in a variety of uh, styles from essential stencil. So let's. Okay. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. So I apologize if you see any mess, surrounding mess. So this is the first book. I just used these little ping things I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut them up. I made bookmarks for each one. And I went on Creative Fabrica and I pulled, I printed out library cards for each one. And this is a uh, rub-on from Essential Stencil. This paper pad is a craft consortium paper pad that I just pulled out. I remembered I had it. And then this is how I did my blind date with the book. I did, uh, oh, I need to tie, I need to put, hold on, let's do it right now. I used my brother, P-Touch Label Maker. And what size? I want size I want medium and okay and then blind date with a book I'm gonna print that out Gonna cut it down. And 
and then we're going to add it onto the book. I have several I think that need that this needs to be done to, so I won't do that on camera to bore you, but there we go. So this is what I did. So each book has the Goodreads rating, 3.75. And then I give you like little dating profile clues, right? So here's the dating pro. This is the profile of this book that you're going to date. Um, it's a read with Jenna Pick, which is a Jenna, Jenna Hagen Bush. It's a read with Jenna Pick. It's a mystery thriller and it's, uh, focuses on mental health. And so I also added these, um, fun little quote stickers that I picked up that, um, lyric lover crap. I wasn't quite happy with these, but they're cute enough so I stuck I stuck some in each book but I love these um book stickers and hello I'm an introvert but we'll discuss books buy me books and call me pretty so fun stuff like that so these are stickers so I added those and then I found these cute little book charms on Amazon it says once upon a time so I added a book charm and a little flower charm to each one I added two two charms per book every book gets a bookmark every book gets stickers every book gets little quote stickers that you can put in your journal or whatever and then every book has a dating profile so here's the next one this paper is a crafter's companion paper um, again every oops Get a little stickers back on there every book gets stickers and two charms every book gets a bookmark so this is I made these from Creative Fabrica. I went and la cut them out and laminated them. Everyone gets a library card or two. And then this one is a 3.0 on Goodreads. It's the winner of the Latino Book Award. It's a chick lick. It's uh, a book for foodies, about foodies, and just a little flight of fancy. Hmm, what does that mean? You have to get the book to find out. And then this one is um, in Christmas wrap. And this is a 4.0 on 4.3 on Goodreads. And then I found this um, bookmark on um, Cricut Design Space. No, I found it on Creative Fabrica. It uh, says something to read. And so I just uh, cut it out and added the charm. And then I also made a bookmark for this one. And then, of course, the library card. That one's really pretty. And so all of that goes in there along with, um, oh, this one needs another clip with another charm. Okay. Um, then this is where I use the rubber stamp. Creativity is contagious. This is about the gold rush. It's a Western, an old West sag saga. And then it tells you what it is. And then I've got all my fun little rub-ons on that one. And then this one here is um it's got again this is a rub-on from the central stencil and all those cute little there's that wood stamp all those cute little stamps um then you've got you've got the a library card there a couple of library cards you've got a couple of charms some um, stickers and this one is uh it has an atlanta locale the location is atlanta it's a vampire um novel urban fantasy a paranormal romance and i put an another note here that just tells people this is actually the last book of a series so there's that one that's the only one i'm kind of iffy about like not iffy in terms of just iffy because you know sometimes if you're a reader you know like me sometimes you don't want to you know start with the last book in the series but you know, if each book, I read that each book can be read as a standalone. So that's kind of good too. I mean, there is some history, but she kind of um, brings you up to speed in each book. And so this one is, I use that Merry Christmas stamp and some rub-ons from Anna Griffin. Again, I've got um, two charms and some little adorn adornments. I use the pretty rub-ons um, and the, and the um, stamps here. And this is a 3.58 on Goodreads. It's a chiclet mystery romance, unexpected love. Isn't that the way they always are in chiclet? <laughs> unexpected love. And so this next one is from, this is a crafter's companion paper. Again, we've using the lovely stamps. I've used a little bit of the washi tape that comes in this uh, crafter's consortium um, collection. I use some of the essential stencil 
um, rub-ons. I used some, some of the stickers I bought. We've got library cards. We've got these super pretty bookmarks, charms, the whole nine of decorating. And then um, there you go with that one. Then we've got this one. It's got a little Santa bell on it. And it's got uh, the bookmark charm. Everybody, everyone gets a bookmark charm. And this is um, Goodreads 3.81. It's a Regency romance, Christmas short stories. It's a historical fiction, holiday cheer. So it's a collection of Regen uh, Regency romance short stories. I almost kept this one for myself. Um, there's the bookmark. There's the library cards. Oh, there's stickers and the quote stickers. So there's that. Then I've got this one. This is that new Prima paper. Um, North Pole, I think it's called. And then um, Blind Date with the Book. It's a Goodreads 3.0. It's a satire, a drama, a fiction, drama fiction. It has satire in it. Uh, and then, a, of course, you saw all the stickers and the stamps, the pretty bookmark, the library cards inside. Really, really cute. Then this one is a Goodreads 3.81. It's a chiclet. Beach. It's a beachy novel, beach vibes. And then I used the stamps here and some of the rub-ons. And, of course, I made a bookmark for that one. This one is a Goodreads 3.5. It's a literary fictional debut. It's a book debut from an author. Uh, it's an odd chicken of a book. Mm, and nature bird themes. Uh, so that is very intriguing. And so there's some pretty, there's that, this, I, I can't remember where I got these from, but these are really cute. And then, of course, I did bookmarks and library cards and those. And then I'm trying to decide if I'm going to add a pin like Lyric Lover did. I don't think I'm going to add a pin. Just because the way I did it, the pin's not really going to stay. It would have stayed in little fancy origami thing that I couldn't figure out. But I don't think the pins are going to stay in these. In the last book is a mystery thriller. thriller. It's a 60s back, 60, 1960s backdrop, a suspenseful book, and Goodreads 3.0. And then there, there's that. And I just thought, if for, even if you, you know, even if you don't give it as a gift for yourself, I mean, if people come by my booth and if you're a reader, it's it's fun, right? To look at a to date a book, to not figure out, not to read the inside flap, to kind of just take my clues and go home and see if you like it. And you know, if you don't like it, you can donate it to your local library or gift it to someone else. But you, it's also a really good, great gift for a reader. I thought I just love this concept. I thought it was so cute. And and um, Love Basket Express, she also does blind date with a puzzle, which I thought was super fun. But I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna go through the process of doing that but that but I think that would be fun too to do puzzles um you know wrap the puzzles and put clues to what kind of puzzle it is um so that is the next um project in my craft fair series I think this is all I'm going to do uh between now and December I don't want to invest in too many of these um I mean even though I got them at the Dollar Tree you know for $1. twenty-five, I don't want to have a lot of books left over that I'll only end up probably donating to the library um, if I don't sell them. So, um, and I think it's kind of catching on. I thought I saw a video from Wandy Sweets. Um, hey, if you're watching, um, who, she also did one of the, a couple of these. I just think it's a really cute, fun idea. It, you know, even for a Christmas gift, I may do a few. I have a, a, a fellow friend that's a book, that's a reader, and I may do a, you know, give her a little basket full of these. Just kind of a fun Christmas gift. So I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you did, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Is this fun? Are you? Do you read? If you do read, what kind of books do you read? Um, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear all about that. And um, I will catch you. I'm sure I will have more videos for you over the weekend as I'm chugging along. We are getting closer and closer to that uh, December 6th date. So um, when I have to stop and load up and load... <laughs> So we're just going to keep chugging along until it's it's time to, to get ready for our two-day two fair. 
So thank you again for watching. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you see, I hope to see you down in the comments and have a great evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye.